Hey everyone, Sean here and uh, welcome back outside. It's gorgeous at the Royal Quebec Golf Club here in magnificent Quebec City. And um, we are going to be talking about today as to why is it more accurate and more efficient to let the hips turn in the backswing. And that's still uh, a massive brainwash that's happening uh, to this day. In the last 30 years, we've talked about removing the margin for error in the body parts in the human body. Well, I'm afraid the human body just doesn't work that way. And when you resist with the lower body, so in other words, if you try to keep the knees flexed the same flex on the way back and you try to resist with the lower body and try to coil the upper body against the lower body, or you're trying to keep the lower body st steady and still so that you don't make any mistakes. That's the major mistake right there, to not uh, to freeze the lower body and, 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 and um, not use it because you are a gravity-based machine. Now, if you'll notice here, I'm going to put a nice picture of the human spine. And you'll see that the facet joints from the sacrum upwards have a range of motion of only one degree or less. And all of those vertebrae stack up from the base of the, of the spine upwards, from the sacrum upwards, and they fit inside each other like Lego blocks so that it's a rigid structure to maintain structure in the, the posture in your body. So they're not made to turn. So when you freeze the legs, you also freeze the pelvis. And if the pelvis freezes, then you start aggravating these facet joints. The rib cage can't turn against the pelvis. And what happens now is that you start straining the ribs and you strain the vertebrae, you get injured. And the worst part is you get way less accurate. Why? Here it is. So if I only had one arm and I was cutting grass with one arm, so you notice how my arm at the shoulder socket is free to swing towards you. There's nothing in the way. So now if I do it in this direction, see how the arm is at the end of its rope here and everything gets pulled back around in a wonderful circle. Now, when I bring both hands together to take my grip in front of me, my hands become handcuffed. So if I don't move the rib cage because I'm not moving my legs, then my upper arm collides into the rib cage. When that happens, the arms get brought behind you. And now you got diverted off course. If I let my arms swing freely in both directions, see how my arms now are being allowed to move freely because when both arms are up against my body, if you look at, oh, let's say you're going bowling. If I'm bowling a bowling ball towards you, notice how my rib cage is now facing here and then I want the bowling ball to go towards you. Notice now my rib cage is facing you. So this is how the rib cage moves. If I don't move the rib cage, then I end up slapping myself. So it's the same thing. A golf swing, if I don't have access in the backswing with my left arm, no access with my right arm, see how everything just flies out of control because the arm collides into my body and gets diverted offline. So a good golf swing is simply one for you, one for you. So notice how my arm is free to come your way and this arm is now ready and free to go in the opposite direction. So now I have freedom in both directions. If I had a hammer and I wanted to hammer a nail in your direction, I can hammer the nail in that direction. I put both hands on. So notice I got to turn out of the way. See where my hammer's going? My hammer's not going to come behind me here. I'm going to miss the nail entirely or bend it out to the right. 
So the arms have to swing freely in the direction of the nail. Bang, right there. Not this way. So if this doesn't move, arms collide, hammer gets diverted off track, and now I can't get to the nail anymore. So when you let the hips turn, it allows the rib cage and the pelvis to get out of the way of the arm swing. And when the arms can swing freely, well, then we've got fabulous velocity and incredible accuracy because now I've got a ball and a string. I've got a wonderful machine that's just tracking its g-forces into a beautiful circular arc. So now I just allow that to swing. Let it swing. Let it swing. So look at my video entitled Arm Swing versus Body Turn. All right? Arms and body timing. And you'll see how that works in more in detail. Now that I've got freedom in that arm club unit, well now look at this. I can just take a walk. Beautiful contact. Beautiful contact. And nice contact. And those shots are going nice and straight in the direction I want the ball to go, no curve on them. So it, it becomes extremely easy to allow the uh, swing to move in the direction that you want the ball to go on. So I'll, uh, I'll give you a little view from down the line here. So quick interlude. This is what you'll find on our premium channel in case you're wondering, right? It's only $5 a month. We got over 40 hours of dual, you know, dual cameras, split screen, so that you get both angles. And these are all, you know, average 10 minute videos, nice bite-sized videos for, for proper learning. And we get you the task that you need, and we get you the focus that you need, and then we see what are the short circuits that are preventing you from performing these tasks. And then we show you how to apply them on the golf course. We show them how to, how to do it in the short game, in the putting, so that you really see the brilliance of how your machine works. And the, the message is the most consistent in the industry and has been for the last 20 years. I can't change the way my machine works. So therefore, I must use it properly to perform my tasks. So if I know how, this is, how, the, how the machine works, I'm not going to go against it. I know how the wiring performs the tasks through this machine. So I'm not going to go against the wiring, which is, you know, the body part positioning crap that you see out there. You know, I get story after story about, hey, you know, I've been working on my game for five years straight, three times a week, you know, wintertime, summertime, and I'm still at the same handicap. I haven't improved. That's because you're working on the wrong tasks. We're not body part orientated positioning machines. We're task operating machines. So we give you the right task and set you free and on your way. And then we got this beautiful progression through that premium channel that's gonna allow you to evolve. And it's nothing but success stories. I got thousands of testimonials in my inbox. I would love for you to read them all but I'm just gonna let you experience it for yourself. We've, like, we've been here for 14 years on YouTube and our message is still the same as 14 years ago. We're just getting better at communicating it. So hope you enjoy. Cut. See how it keeps passing in the same place? Notice how my arms are not too high, not too low. I'm right on plane. Now my brain just says, okay, we need to step about that far to cut in that direction. Off the ball goes. There it is. Step swing, step swing. Look at that. So, another one in that direction. So, I'm just allowing my arms to swing freely. Notice how my arms are in front of me. So it's like if I had a sword in my hands, Gather the sword. See how my body's turned out of the way? Now I can use the weight of my arm sword unit to slash through, say, a bamboo shoot. 
So look at another video of mine called uh, Fencing for Power, Sean Clement. And you'll see uh, the Sword Drill Golf WRX. Same thing, just a little more updated. So gather the swords. See how the sword's in front of me? I would never throw the thing behind me here. Now I'd have to turn my body and rip my shoulder apart to get that done. So I'm just slashing that sword. Get my intermediate point right there. Now I'm just gonna let my arm club unit swing in that direction. Out of the way, out of the way. And beautiful contact with the ball. Very, very flush. We'll do that again. Out of the way, out of the way. Just lovely. Club face was just a hair open on the previous one. So I hope you enjoyed that. And stay tuned for why you want to let the hips turn in the short game when we talk about that in Golf WRX later on this week. All right, all the best. <laughs>